What's up guys, this is Inquisitor Finn, and with the longest time, I'm here with another episode of Trials Evolution Gold Digger. I, ha I have had some serious issues with the game, but they seem to be fixed now for the most part, so here we go. Uh, this is a bit of a backlog, since I have not been able to do this stuff, so these are not the... These are probably not in the weekly feed anymore, but they still deserve their episode, so here we go. The first one is a medium trap by Baseline001, who's, who you should be familiar with already. And it's a scenic trap, so not expecting it could be too hard. I'm just going to go with the Phoenix. Since I have no idea how the line is, Phoenix is a good, good bike to go for if you have no idea what the track is like. Oh, hey, so here we go. Black Tide by Baseline 001. Oh, oh dear. I can see there's a bit of a time saver there. Uh, that might not be a time saver actually. Hey, uh, things are looking pretty good. On a grim, which I like. Oh, oh dear. Oh, hey, oh. Oh damn. Hey. So this time, let's actually get up here. Ah, uh, whoops. Oh, fuck me. Okay, there's not nothing crazy in the background, but then again, it fixed the style of the trap, so can't really complain too much. Oh, I didn't quite make that. Hey, okay. the line seems pretty good. Not uh, not something you would grasp in a single run through, but. Seems to me that once you get the flow of the line down, you can go through this thing really fucking fast. So all in all, it's a good track, as is to be expected from baseline. So I gotta come back to that one and actually log saw on it. So I'm I won't read it just yet. So the next track. As you know, I usually do not do pits, but I was supposed to do an episode on this trap before it got a pit. Now it has the pit, but I'm still going to do the episode since it deserves it. So this is a this is City Brain by Sight Ad, and I know that this trap has a crazy good flow to it, and I know it's just all being trapped. So let's get down to this. Okay. <coughs> Sight Ed is also one of the guys you should be familiar with if you've been watching my my scuff. Oh, whoops. I missed that up completely. I am not demonstrating the flow of this line well right now, but you'll probably notice that there there's some huge potential in here. You go really fast. And this track actually looks like a sewer line. So, whoa. Oh, fuck. No, I'm stuck here. Damn it. So he pulled off his theme really well. Oh, better. Oh, oh dear. That was good. Oh, skill gold medal. And the UFO crashing in the end, that's nice. That's nice. So that was City Drain by Sight Ed. You can go crazy fast on it. Let's see what the this time is. Under 28 seconds. So you imagine that that's really fucking flowy as a track. So that's good. Very good. Next up we have Flight Delayed by Hornet Muscles, which is an extreme trap. 
Uh, care of the airport while you wait for your flight to Helsinki. <laughs> oh, hey, nice. <coughs> so here we go with the Phoenix. Let's see what we have. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm experiencing a bit of lag here. That's not the whole of the game per se. Well, kind of is since it uh, does this when I play in window mode. For whatever reason. Don't really know. Oh, I'm doing this badly. So let's do it better. There we go. Oh, hey. Looks a bit of a spring jump combination here. The theme seems nice from what I've seen so far. Keeping with the airport theme. Oh. Oh dear. You guys already know that I'm piss poor at especially uphill. Oh, damn. Especially uphill spring jumping. And let's land that back tire, and there we go. On there, and click checkpoint. Nice. Oh dear. And whoa. Oh dear. Ah, I'm doing all sorts of wrong here. And I know. Oh. Oh, God damn, this lag isn't really helping me. I'm not doing this obstacle directly to begin with, and unbind that with the lag I'm having, it's not fun. But the track is not causing the lag, mind you. Oh dear, oh dear, no way to salvage, no way to salvage, fuck. Ah, like snog. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, that's a bit better. And fapping. Like a boss. There we go. As you see, there are a lot of Hoskam objects he's made. Like this. This thing. I don't even know what they call that, so I'm not gonna even try. A lot of scuff in the trap. A lot of small detail, <coughs> which is some something you should really appreciate on a trap. It takes a lot of time to put all that together, together in a meaningful way. Whoa. So he's probably spent a good while creating this trap for your writing pleasure. Oh. Fuck. Ah. Oh. As usual with a muscles trap, the line seems like you can really do great things with it. It seems fair, it seems fast. They are time savers. And general generally there's a good feel about the whole thing. Ah. With, with muscles traps you never really have to worry about finding a bullshit obstacle or something that seems really, really gimmicky or unfair. That's just the way he does things. He uses solid obstacles. I guess that comes down to the fact that he's a pretty beast writer as well, so he knows how scuff should be done. Let's just... ah. Oh, hey, let's knock. Oh, that was a bit a bit unnecessary, but... Oh well, I got it, so... Oh, ah! Hit my head in the end. Oh, hey! Down we go. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. Hey, let's just rest here and... Nope. And... Up the boss. Up the boss. Go on, trials guy. No. Don't kill yourself. That was not what I wanted you to do. Oh, hey, up the box. Nice. Oh, hey! <laughs> that was a pretty piss poor demonstration of the trap. But, as you might have noticed, the driving lines seemed very flowy. Let's see what the best time is 43 seconds or so from Daniel's map, who is superhuman. So that sort of could be expected. I have one more trap for you, which is Heartburn by Rajado XX. It's also a, a, an extreme trap, a technical one. And let's see. See, yeah, heavily themed. Uh, this struck struss or whatever you want to call that metal beam here. It's, to my liking, it's kind of in the way, as you can see. Not a huge deal, but still kind of in the way. Oh. Alright, here we go. Oh, damn. Bit of theme going on here with all on the fire and oh dear. I don't like these obstacles very much. They're so easy to make, so that they're unfair. It's kind of a gimmick. I don't really like them that much. Hey, good. Oh man. I was supposed to go higher. Ah! Nope. Okay, you skip it, folks, here. Oh, hey. That fixed the situation a bit. Oh, hey. So this is a backflip, I guess. And there we go. Oh, oh, hey. And here we go. And we've kind of failed, so let's go at it again. And I failed again. Fuck. Well, like, at least this this part is done well. So you and oh fuck! Round and round and round he goes when he stops. Now we know. Hey, <clears throat> yeah, uh, these parts are kind of what you should be looking out for when you make a track. This hunting just looks wrong. I imagine, what if I go through it fast? Oh, well, when you go go past it fast, it's not really an issue. It's not too much in the way. Oh, that was bad, even for my standards, from me. I love the bat plate here. Because landing on this, Ink lines is a real pain in the ass, so I really love the fact that he made a bat plague here. And there's a finish. And a bit of a Huskam hammer in the ending. Let's see, does something happen here? Uh, I guess not, it just fades to black. Like the end of Sopranos with a fucking fade to black. <laughs> well, those were the traps for this week. A bit of a backlog as I explained before, but still pretty good. And yep, I'm ahead of Animal Shogun and Blue Badger, so I'm happy. Alright, this has been Inquisitive Finn with Trials Evolution Gold Digger. Hope to see you next time. Have fun. Bye-bye.